Hello everyone, welcome to Journey's Life. In this video, we'll show you the 5 most beautiful Caribbean islands for you to go and enjoy the summer holidays. Whether you're focused on food or nature, wildlife or culture, this video will show you at least one Caribbean island that suits your needs. Having your next holiday in the Caribbean is indeed a sellable idea. The thought of meeting amazingly charismatic people while enjoying the cool frenzy of the beaches makes this undisputable. However, because of the numerous options available, the hardest part of holidaying in the Caribbean is choosing which island to visit. But you no longer have to worry. Ensure you watch this video until the end to find out the most beautiful Caribbean island to go to this year. So without further ado, let's get right into the details. Starting with number 5, we have St. Lucia. Many people argue that this is the most beautiful Caribbean island ever, and honestly, they may not be wrong. With white sandy beaches, private villages, dense jungles, and so much more, St. Lucia is a top travel choice for young couples looking for a quick steal away or newly wedded for their honeymoons. The majestically built resort in St. Lucia makes visiting even more exciting. For example, we have the Calabash Cove and the Stonefield Villas Resort. The Calabash Cove This is an authentic and luxurious adult-only resort, beautifully positioned in front of the most beautiful beach in St. Lucia, Chwedwyd Beach, offering an unrestricted view of the Caribbean Sea. The strategically observed view of the rooms and cottages using vegetation makes this resort more romantic. If you also want to enjoy the most beautiful sunsets when visiting St. Lucia, the Calabash Cove Resort is the best place to be. Stonefield Villas Resort This is another amazing stop offering incredible views of Petit Piton, the 2,461-foot-tall volcanic mountain. It's also an adult-only resort, which makes us believe St. Lucia is just perfect for having alone time with your partner. An open-air restaurant, a pool, aerial view of the Caribbean Sea, and much more make this the perfect stop for you in St. Lucia. Number 4. We have Antigua Are you looking to explore British history without visiting Britain? Well, Antigua allows you to achieve this, offering a blend of British history and tropical beauty, thanks to its candy-colored colonial buildings and a total of 365 beaches for you to choose from. If you love sailing, then Antigua is a must-visit Caribbean island for you. There are multiple events across the year that guarantee an enjoyable experience, alongside several other locations that make you explore history while immersing yourself in the beauty of nature. There's the Antigua annual classic yacht regatta. This is the most renowned classic race worldwide, and it happens every April, hosted by the Antigua Yacht Club. At this event, you get to witness the beauty of vintage and classic yachts gracefully gliding through the Caribbean Sea, paying homage to the rich maritime history and craftsmanship of the skilled sailors globally competing for glory. Beyond watching, there are also several other onshore activities you can engage in, including cultural events, exploring cultural cuisines. Basically, Antigua has something to offer everyone during this time of the year. Shirley Heights If you can't make it during the sailing period, then you haven't missed all the fun. You can also visit places like Shirley Heights to salvage what's left. And to be honest, this is typically more than enough. On clear days, located about 490 feet above sea level, Shirley Heights offers a panoramic view of the southern island of Guadalupe and the active volcano Montserrat a view that many visitors describe as breathtaking. From 4 p.m. until 10 p.m. every Sunday, Shirley Heights is usually a party ground with enough barbecue and drinks to go around while local bands entertain you with a mixture of international hits and Caribbean-flavored music. There's literally no better crowd to meet new people from many walks of life and make friends. Number 3. Cuba if you're looking to enjoy contrasting experiences, from tropical rhythms to gorgeous cities, Cuba is your best bet. White sand beaches, rich history, breathtaking architecture, prime wildlife, Cuba offers it all. 
And interestingly, regardless of the time of the year, you are short of several stops to make your trip worthwhile. First is Havana. This is the capital of Cuba, and it's arguably the most beautiful city in the Caribbean. Marked as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Havana is filled with classic cars, lush forests and beaches, making it almost impossible for you to want to return home. Varadero This is where you get the best beach resort in Cuba, thanks to its 20 kilometers long crystalline waters and white powdery sands. If you are with family, you can spend the night safely in any of the accommodation options available, or if you are alone, you can spend the night dancing away at various themed party nights. Casa Particular Your Cuba travel experience is undoubtedly not complete if you haven't stayed with the locals, and the accommodation you book for this is called Casa Particular. Beyond the multiple families you get to know, the local meals shared by your hosts at these accommodations are another highlight people typically look forward to. Of course, Cuba has had its share of difficulties. Nevertheless, it's still a very beautiful Caribbean island for you to visit. Number 2. Dominica Many people confuse Dominica with the Dominican Republic, and that's probably because Dominica is the best-kept secret in the Caribbean region. Dominica is not your typical Caribbean, which somehow explains why it's called the natural island of the Caribbean. Despite the various modifications that several other islands have undergone, Dominica remains among the very few that are still so natural, which again explains why many say it's the only Caribbean island that Columbus would recognize if he were to return today. Beyond the ocean views and beautiful beaches you'll expect from a typical Caribbean island, Dominica contains a wild and rugged interior crystal clear waterways flowing through its dense rainforest, and volcanoes towering over deep valleys and globally significant boiling lakes. The Boiling Lake This is Dominica's signature adventure for its visitors. Located in the Montois Piton National Park, the Boiling Lake is a UNESCO World Heritage Site containing a mountaintop, lush rainforest, and an active volcano with bubbling mud and hot water streams called the Valley of Desolation. The Waitukabuli Trail This is the first long-distance hiking route in the Caribbean region, spanning from the south to the north of the island. The Waitukabuli Trail was redeveloped and opened in 2012. And at number 1, we have Puerto Rico. Whether you are an adventurer, a hiker, an art lover, a beachgoer, a country person, or a city person, Puerto Rico offers something for everyone, regardless of your travel desires and preferences. There are plenty of places to visit, activities to engage in, and of course exciting new people to meet, thanks to the high foot traffic. El Yunque Rainforest This is the only rainforest in the U.S. National Forest System and it's home to more than 240 types of trees, unique beds, over 25 waterfalls, several rivers, and many more. Spanning 28,000 acres of land, the El Yunque Rainforest is only an hour's drive from San Juan, which means you can either go on your own or with a guided tour to maximize your visit. Horseback riding, hiking, and ziplining are a few other activities to do in this rainforest. Distrito T-Mobile Although just opened in 2021, Distrito T-Mobile has become a favorite destination for locals and visitors. Spanning five acres of land, Distrito is an entertainment ground at the heart of the San Juan Convention Center District and particularly offers at least something for everybody to enjoy. So whether you just want to enjoy the evening all by yourself or an amazing night out with travel buddies, Distrito T-Mobile allows you to have unrestricted fun. Boqueron. This small town in Puerto Rico isn't as busy as Isabela, Aguadilla, or Rincón. The water in Boqueron is calmer and relatively shallow, making it a family-friendly option, especially if you're traveling with kids. With that, guys, we've come to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our next travel destination update. If you enjoyed this video, check out the video on your screen too 
to learn the best things to do when you're traveling to Dubai.